on this edition of Awaken the Wonder. Did you know that you have a place in your heart made out of hope that can only be filled by the glory of God? Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Awaken the Wonder podcast with me, your host, evangelist Caleb Wampler of Kingdom Encounters International. I've seen hundreds of thousands of people come to salvation in Jesus in countries hostile to the gospel, witnessed impossible miracles, and regularly experienced God's wonder. This show is an outflow of my life in ministry in the nations. Tune in weekly to hear miracle testimonies and encouraging stories from the fields of harvest from both me and my global ministry network. As we journey ahead, may you hunger for God as never before and awaken the wonder of your relationship with Jesus. Did you know I have a brand new book out called Hunger? It's a riveting collection of heavenly encounters, and my friend, you cannot be the same after opening up and reading its pages. Hunger not only chronicles the encounters of men of God that have gone before and throughout history, but it is also a heavenly encounter itself. I myself list my heavenly encounters in there, and I know it will stir your faith. You're going to have an intensifying passion to seek and commune with the Lord, a growing burden for souls as you ignite that with the heart of Christ, a heightened awareness of the eternal that will inspire an impassioned pursuit of heavenly treasure. My friend, not only will your faith be stirred in God and strengthened, but your love for him will be deepened. You need to get this book today and you can get it on Amazon or on kingdomencounters.us or wherever books are sold. My friends, go on there today again and get your book, Hunger. I know it's gonna be a blessing to you forward written by evangelist Daniel Kalenda with endorsements from those such as Carlos Anacondia, Jeannie Mayo, Brian Guerin, Dr. Scott Hagen, and so many more. Again, go on Amazon today or to kingdomencounters.us and get a copy of Hunger today. I'm going to go into the word here, and I believe the, that God has something for you today. And so I encourage you to follow along um, as, we, as we go into this. I think God's going to really encourage you. And so if you want to flip uh, flip open to Colossians chapter 1, verse 26 to 27, I'm going to read it here. This is in the Passion Translation, and I'll have a few different versions today. But um, Colossians 1, 26 to 27, if you want to pull it up on your U version there, there is a divine mystery, a secret surprise that has been concealed from the world for generations, but now it's being revealed unfolded and manifested for every holy believer to experience living within you. Everybody say that living within me, right in your living room, right in your car, wherever you are living within me is Christ who floods me with expectation of glory. Now what is in God's glory? Um, there, we know that Moses said, Lord, show me your glory. You know, in the glory of God, can I tell you guys, there's no sickness, there's no disease, uh, there's, no, there's no cancer, there's no COVID-19. There's everything you need in God's glory. The glory of God is not just presence. It's not just feeling. It's not just goosebumps. It's not just thoughts and feelings and substances and ethereal ideas. My friends, the Bible says in Hebrews that Jesus is the glory of God. And in Jesus is everything you ever could have imagined and everything you ever could have wanted. Matthew 6, 33 says, seek first the kingdom of God in his righteousness and all these things will be added to you as well. Uh, It says here in verse 27 that living within me is Christ who floods me with the expectation of glory. This mystery of Christ embedded within us. Now, this is this is powerful. It's embedded in you. If you've ever done anything with websites, they they embed the codes, embed the web links right into the site so that nothing is going to change. It's embedded in the site. It's not going anywhere. It's always part of the site. Embedded in you, it's always part of you, is this. There is a heavenly treasure chest. This is powerful. A heavenly treasure chest inside of you. Everybody imagine that right now. There is a treasure chest inside of me. Everybody say that. This heavenly treasure chest is made out of hope. So it's not made out of wood. It's not 
made out of metal. It's not made out of precious metals or gold or silver or whatever it may be. It's actually made out of the substance of hope. And within that, this is what the Bible says, inside of this treasure chest of hope is filled with the riches of the glory of God. And God wants everyone to know it. So right now in this season, you may not know what's going on. You may not know what to do. You may not know how things are going to turn around in your situation. But I want you to be encouraged today to have hope in this season. The glory of God resides in the hope that you possess. And when you put your hope on Jesus, the anchor of your soul, hope cannot be lost. With everything that's going on in the world, it can be easy. And right there in California, I know many things are happening. I, I was actually born in California. It always has been one of my homes. I've lived there longer than any other state. And so I feel it very near and dear to my heart in California, what you guys are going through out there. And, but in, in California right now, you guys are having a lot of situations going on. There's a lot to pray about. We're all watching all of these uh, rulings with you and praying for you. But you cannot lose your hope, GT. You cannot lose your hope in Jesus' name. Because the glory of God, which is the answer to everything in your situation, the riches of glory is housed within the hope that you possess. If you say, Lord, strengthen my hope. Lord, fill me with hope. Lord, give me a hope that cannot be shaken. Hebrews chapter 12 tells us that uh, everything that can be shaken is going to be shaken. But what is unshakable is going to remain. Well, what's unshakable? Anything that God has spoken, anything that God has built, anything that God has said is something that is not going to be shaken, whether by earthquake, famine, nakedness, weather, danger, sword, pestilence, disease. It will not be shaken if God has said it. And so in this season, my friends, I want you to say, I have a treasure chest of hope inside of me filled with the glory of God. And, and that, that, that thing is going to come out in Jesus' name, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, simply by the activation of your mouth. Um, we live in a voice-activated kingdom. You know, Genesis 1-1 says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The, the, the earth was void and formless. The Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And the Spirit of God was listening for the voice. The voice said in verse 3, let there be light in Jesus name. When, when he said, let there be light, the spirit of God went into action. And, and today I tell you that if, if you voice activate the kingdom of God in your life to release that glory of God, say, God, right now I release the glory of God. Right now I release the, the riches and the abundance for every situation we're facing. I release the riches of healing over the situation. I release the riches of provision over the situation. I release the, the, the riches of your favor in this situation. Um, this is what God is going to do in this season, but it's all housed in the hope in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening to Awaken the Wonder. If you enjoyed today's show and want more ministry like this, please visit kingdomencounters.us where you can find weekly blogs in my latest book, Hunger. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at the tag Evangelist Caleb Wampler. If the Lord leads you to partner with us in the nations in prayer and giving, visit kingdomencounters.us. I'll see you next time.